Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Fusions. This time it's Caterpie and Bulbasaur. And once again, this is the 11,000 challenge where I try to do all 11,000 fusions for the Gen 1 Pokemon. And if you didn't know how I got that number, well, you do 150 plus 149 plus 148 all the way down to 1. You're starting from Bulbasaur all the way down to Mew. Two. The Mewtwo. And that's like 11,530 something. I'm just gonna say it's 11,000 plus. 11,000 Pokemon challenge. If you really want to see something else, I can uh, do something else on the weekend. Or any other time. Just suggest it and I will see if I can or will do it. If you have noticed, I also do it on games. I've also done YouTubers. If there's a game or a YouTuber or something else you really like, you can ask me to make something equivalent to it. And if I find the time with uh, drawing and also having a baby December 19th or thereabouts, I will, I will try to do it. So I am trying to do more of a bulk video. But if you also don't remember, or this is the first one you've been to, Right now, currently, I, uh, I'm using a broken computer screen. So I'm using a monitor, uh, the sound's a little off, I don't know if things sound right. I've gotten a replacement, but for some reason the files don't want to go to it, so I'm stuck using this until then. So let's talk about what is going on with this monstrosity. I think I did a really good job creating him, to be honest. I did a really good phase out. But what I'm focusing on now is the bulbs on the canopy's back. I didn't put it on his head, but I am pretty happy that I didn't. He's basically got poison sacks growing on him, and I think I did a really good job on this. I probably need to figure out more perspectives and how the bulbs would more look, but I, I think I did a good job. But right now, all I'm doing is just line arn arting it. There's not much uh, to say here. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. For some reason, my line art really sucks, but my chicken scratch uh, does look better. I've been watching Psychra, and he says uh, basically my style of chicken scratch is not that good, and you should be practicing uh, more long. Uh, stretches of art and I, I have been I've been creating arms I've been creating a lot more things I find it more accurate for me to do line art with my chicken scratch so I'm gonna try to incorporate both of them into it and for the color scheme I just really chose a Caterpie with uh, some of the Bulbasaur coloring for his feet I really didn't do much or much create activity wise with it but I, I think it actually turned out pretty well and just as a side tangent just remember the next time I won't have my regular computer and it'll look a slightly different but I'm hoping it doesn't affect it too much just the placement will be weird I have all the things I need besides my recording program other than that I'm pretty good and no, this time nothing crashed or failed, so I'm very happy about that. But I don't think there's really much for me to say here until I get to more of the coloring at the end. So I will see you then. Have fun listening to the music.
if you weren't here last time, this is what I was talking about, or if you were. The little clouds of smoke that I gave Caterpie. I used the watercolor brush. And I, I think it came out really well. The gradients mess it up a little bit, so next time I'll plan a little bit better. But I, it still turned out great. You can see the green puffs of smoke at the end. And ultimately, I think it worked nicely. And yes, I do see the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth circle, the butt end. I see that the left foot isn't right. It, it, it just isn't formed at the right place. But I do fix it at the end uh, after I'm, I'm done recording. So it is fixed. And, and you'll see it at the end. So yeah, that was a Bulber Pee. That is the end of the video. So I thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. See you in the next video. And bye.